Good morning, I'm Corey Duke. I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. The Muskogee County Sheriff's Office investigating what led to the grass fires officials say came from an out of control burn pile off Highway 16. Fire crews from Muskogee and Wagner County is arriving on scene around one in the afternoon. They did manage to put it out by six o'clock, but fire crews were out at the same location Monday and told those landowners not to be burning. The new Veterans Hospital in Tulsa is finally moving forward. Crews started demolishing the inside of the Kerr Edmondson building in downtown Tulsa on Tuesday. The building on the expanded campus of the OSU Medical Center will be converted to a 275,000 square foot surgical hospital with 58 beds. The new hospital is expected to serve more than 65,000 veterans across eastern Oklahoma. Construction should be done in December of 2024 and open for patients in early 2025. Today, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office welcoming 100 school resource officers and administrators from all across the state to attend training. It's part of a three day Oklahoma Association of Resource Officers 2022 conference. It's at Tulsa Tech's Limley campus. The goal is to make schools safer by teaching participants how to identify potential threats and respond. Well, another day of hot temperatures, but relief on the way. Let's send it over to meteorologist Michael Sager. Yeah, we've got that relief on the way today. Just shy probably of a record high after we tied yesterday's record high of 106. We're going to go 105 for today. Again, we do have that dangerous heat that we are contending with. Excessive heat warnings, heat advisories are in effect. Stay cool, stay hydrated as best as possible. We do have a chance for a few pop up storms, so somebody, especially north of I 40, may get lucky, pick up a little bit of rainfall and the rain cool there that would come with any pop up storms. So even in Tulsa, we've got that chance and notice we bump up the chances on Thursday and we bring the chances up even more on Friday. Still lower chances to the south and unfortunately for those in southern parts of green country, it does look like the higher chances will stay to the north as we go through the weekend. But look at the cool down 80s on Friday and on Saturday.